morning. So how are you doing this morning? It is a little past noon. Um, and I slept like crap last night. I just, I couldn't stop worrying about everything, especially like my portfolio and the paper and blah, 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 blah. And so I couldn't fall asleep at all. I just have that like pit in the bottom of my stomach that says that something's going to go wrong. And it's really frustrating because then I got bad sleep because of it. Um, and Leia has been just meowing the entire morning. And so it's hard not to be really, really grumpy right now. So I'm just trying to relax, check my emails, you know, sit on the couch and use my phone. And hopefully I'll be able to be motivated to actually get things done today. And I think that'll help me a lot. But yeah, I was talking to Jake this morning and he said that he went through the same thing when he was graduating one semester ago that he felt like, you know, something's going to go wrong, I'm not going to graduate, things like that. And that's what I'm going through right now. So yeah, I just got a hit with a like sudden wave of panic last night and it hasn't left yet. So that's what I'm dealing with today. Also, it's... It's like really cloudy and like gray outside, so it's definitely like icky weather and it was kind of snowing this morning on May 1st. Um, so that's probably not helping either. So we're going to have to do a couple things to turn this day around. Um, planning on making some chicken in the crock pot, so I need to get that started. Um, but other than that, I guess we'll just have to see what's up on the docket next. This is the other thing I can't wait to have when we get a new apartment is a garbage disposal because every time I peel carrots, potatoes, or anything, I have to peel them onto like a cutting board and then throw them away versus just putting them in the sink like a normal person does. Um, and so this takes this whole process of making the chicken, the crock pot chicken, really takes forever because first you have to wash everything and then you have to dry it just to make sure it's not going to slide all over the place and then you have to peel it and then you have to chop it so i have like one extra full step in here so let's see okay i started about like 10 minutes ago preparing everything it's now 123 so let's see when i finally get everything ready to go um this is what my potatoes look like and then i'll have some onion too so I'm going to first put a layer of potatoes in so that they can absorb all the fun juices. Then I'm going to sear the chicken outside so it seals in that flavor. Set those on top and then stack the rest of my vegetables on top. Um, because I found that that works the best for making crack pot chicken. So the chicken is cooking. What I do is I put the chicken legs. I found chicken legs are cheap, good meat, and these were on sale. So that's why I'm using them. Um, and they stay together when you put them in the crock pot. Um, what I do is I put them in the crock pot and then do a quarter turn of each leg, about a minute and a half in, and then season two of the sides, top and the bottom. Um, and then I just toss them in the crock pot. This isn't to cook them, but it's just to seal in the juices. And so right now I have one layer of potatoes, then I'll throw my chicken on top, and then I can throw my vegetables and fill up the rest of it and season everything up. Now, if you have chicken broth, you just make sure you get all the brown, yummy stuff off the bottom of the pan after you've put your chicken in. I don't have chicken broth with me this time. Usually I have it in my pantry, just forgot to pick it up. So I'm just using some uh, chicken bouillon and then a little bit of water to scrape off all of the good brown bits off the front, off the bottom of the pan. And then I'll pour this over everything when I'm done, just to add in some more of that yummy chicken flavor that we've already created. It is now time to chop the onions. So I have these sexy onion goggles, which are super hilarious, to help me not cry when I cut onions. And I'm really, really sensitive to onions, so this is an absolute necessity for me. So if you're really sensitive like I am, I highly recommend using goggles. 
Um, these are really great, but if you just have regular science goggles around that have closed off edges, those work to prevent your eyes from crying too much when you cut onions as well. So on top of my onions, I've added pretty much any savory spice that I have in my cabinet. I've added some seasoned salt that I have from a local spice store, a little bit of red pepper, ground cayenne, a little bit of thyme, and also parsley flakes, and then a little bit more of the chicken bouillon, and I've added some garlic that's already been minced by Spice World um, into my little um, pan brownings, and then I'm going to pour this over on top of all of my seasonings. And this will help just bring everything together and create some really nice flavor. And really, I just, and I also add salt and freshly ground pepper. So I just add something different every time. Honestly, I just do it and I eyeball it. I don't add way too much salt, but I make sure to season it at every level so that it's always incorporated into the flavor. And you can always add more salt when you're done as well. Now I'm just going to add on the last part of the potatoes and get this thing cooking. I'm just going to crank this baby up on high. Since it's already 2 o'clock, I want it done in about 4 hours. So it's about 2 or 7. It took me about an hour to prepare it. And you cannot forget the secret ingredient, which makes all of the flavors come together, some lemon juice. If you have fresh squeezed lemon, that's much better. But I go through, this is almost empty, real lemon juice like it's going out of style. And that helps brighten up the flavors and really um, hit your palate in a really pleasing way. And then just put the lid on and you can set it and forget it. And then just check back in a few hours and it should be cooked and ready to go. If you have all day, you can put it on low and it'll take about eight hours or around there. It's not an exact science, at least not for me. Cooking for me is all about experimenting and I think once you experiment enough, then you feel comfortable doing things like just throwing in whatever spices sound good at the time. So we'll let this baby cook and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Taking over the couch today. Look at this whole big couch. And such a little tiny kitty. She's like, this is my couch. I am the queen. Just don't tell her. She's really the princess, but shh. All right, it's time to open up the crock pot and eat some dinner. Ooh. Totally just fogged up the camera. It was worth it. It's gonna be delicious. I just had a nap. Look at the killer. She's like, Britta, you slept all afternoon and now you need to feed me. <laughs> yeah, I just took a nap. It was... I feel rested, but I had nightmares the entire time. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I need to take like sleeping medication or something tonight. Uh, but we're gonna eat. We're gonna set up Kitty to eat, we're gonna, and I'm gonna eat, and then probably pick up Jake from work, and uh, then we'll get some stuff done. And here is the finished product. It doesn't look very pretty, but it's going to taste delicious. And the great thing about building up the crock pot in layers is that to get even servings of everything, you just stick your spoon right down into the mix and just pull out like layers, like you would a seven layer dip or something like that. So it, I got an even mix of everything. And everything's super slow cooked and it's gonna be delicious. If you wanna go ahead and make some gravy with the broth, um, go ahead. But I'm feeling particularly lazy tonight, so I'm just gonna add a little extra salt and then dig in, and it's gonna be delicious. Here's what's left. Yep, it was delicious. Just about ready to order my business cards. A thousand of these babies coming up. So let's hope I didn't make any spelling mistakes. 
<laughs> just kidding. It's only really my name on there, so I can't have made any spelling mistakes. I double checked. But this is pretty much a commitment. <laughs> Thousand business cards. Gonna order them now. Ah! <laughs> and that's the sound my anxiety makes. All right, so the yesterday's vlog is almost done uploading. I have ordered my portfolio paper, ordered my business cards, and ordered my letterpress plate for my graduation announcements. So that's three more things done today. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up early and make sure I have everything done for GD2 because I have a meeting with my professor for that at like three. Um, so I want to get that class going. And then we'll see what everything else what else, what else I have to knock off the to-do list, but three big things done, so we're making progress. Uh, thank you so much for watching the vlog. Hope that you had a great first day of May. We're supposed to get six to nine inches of snow tonight. Yeah, Minnesota. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see if that actually happens. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.